Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today I have the Insta360 Ace Pro and I wanna go out and vlog with it a little bit, test it out and see how it performs. And I wanna talk about some of the good points and bad points that I've already discovered with this camera. And so I thought, why not go out to DC today, go check out the, uh, the old post office tower because it's supposed to have some of the best views of Washington, DC. So it's raining, it kind of sucks, so it's a good day to actually be inside. So let's jump into it and here we go. All right, well, I have uh, no idea where I'm going. I know I'm over in the right area, but I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be going in at. And uh, it's raining outside, so I don't want to be out here too long looking around for it. But I will say this, one nice thing about the Insta360 Ace Pro is that it is an action camera. So even if you're out vlogging with this thing and the weather turns bad, you don't have to worry about it because, well, it's waterproof. Okay, here we are at the Waldorf Astoria and the old post office, if we can see right in there. Now, there is a sign here that says, Hotel entrance, 11 and pin, clock tower entrance, 12th and C. So I guess we're gonna head over to the clock tower entrance so we can go in there, so. Okay, there is the Franklin study, but we're gonna head out this way. That's 12th street right there. And we wanna go to 12th and C so that we can get in to the clock tower. All right, well, there's the clock tower. Let's head on inside and go take a look and see if we can check out one of these spectacular views that we're supposed to be able to see from the top. Well, we are back in another elevator because apparently we have to go up again. So we're not even done yet. We're not even there yet. We went up to one spot and then we have to go up to another. So we're almost in the tower. All right, we made it to the tower and look at this view. Ooh, look at this view. Wow. That is amazing. Now they have all these cables up. Oops, says please don't touch the wires. The first thing I do is touch them, but. <laughs> wow. They make sure that you can't really uh, reach out there or throw anything, which I guess is good, but there we have it. There are some fantastic, fantastic views from here. This is probably the best view in the city. Now, unfortunately, it is raining today, so it's not like it's the, uh, the best day to be up here, but this is the tower and it's kind of it's kind of a cool thing i didn't know they had anything like this up here until just recently and i'm having a lot of fun finding out some new things about the dc area and just being out there now if you guys can see way out there the distance that little bit right there that is the washington monument so uh let's see if we can punch in a little bit and there we go can't really see it much better but let's see if we come on this side where the, uh, let's see if we go on this side where the cables were, if it's gonna be any better. So there's the Washington Monument right there. Let's see if we punch in some. There you go, you can see it a little bit better. It's not a whole lot because, well, you're looking through these silly cables, so. And they clearly say right there, do not touch the wires. <laughs> All right, way out into the distance there, you might be able to see is the Capitol building. Let's see if we can punch in a little bit. And there you go. I don't know if you can see it. It's right, right out. Let's see if we can get show you right there. <laughs> it's pretty far out there. But as you can see, 
they do have some really, really sweeping views up here. And you can kind of see how the whole city is laid out on like this grid. So it's very, very cool and interesting. If you guys get out to DC, I would definitely recommend it. All right, everyone. Well, this is the clock tower and it is, uh, it is pretty awesome. So as you can see up here, there's, uh, there's walkways all the way around so that you can come here and check out the views and, uh, and see everything. And if you look there at these backgrounds, it's just, it's pretty incredible. The only thing is I wish, I wish all of this right here, all these wires, I wish all of that may just be plexiglass or something so that it would be easy to actually photograph through it because with all those wires and cables, it's just not the easiest thing to photograph through. So, but all right, let's keep it going. Let's see if we can go check something else out in DC before we get up out of here. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about the camera. All right, before we actually get out of the city here, let's uh let's see if we can go to the white house and go check it out right quick so um one thing that's kind of cool about the white house is that you can walk usually right up to the front gate but uh sometimes they close things off push people back a little bit further but let's see what it looks like right now at this time of year so let's head over there and hopefully we can get close Well, I made it over here towards the White House and found a place to park, which I was surprised. I'm actually parked right across the street from Lafayette Park, which is uh, not an easy thing to do always. But since I guess it's sort of a rainy, gloomy day, there's not a lot of people out here. And it's kind of late in the day. It's almost uh, four o'clock now. And so, um, you know, after four o'clock, it becomes difficult to park in this area. From like four to 6.30, it becomes difficult to park. So a lot of people, just are gone before this so anyways uh let's head through lafayette park and then go take a look at the white house all right there is the white house right there look at that look at that and most of the barriers are down so we were able to actually walk right through and walk right up to the uh to the gate there so let's get as close as we can and uh and see if we can get a shot and the nice thing about the uh shooting like this when the gates are here is that you can actually stick your camera through the fence so that you don't have to have the fence in the way so you can stick your camera right through there and boom get a nice clean shot of the White House. So there we go, let's back it up a little bit and there it is. That is the White House lawn. This is actually the back of the White House if I'm not mistaken. And uh, there you go, just like that. Okay, well here's the White House, it's back there. Now it's kind of hard to see through the gate maybe, but there it is right there. Now I would recommend if you're out here shooting and blogging and uh, it is raining like this, take a little microfiber cloth with you when you're out. That way you can wipe your lens down because I've already had to wipe my lens down a few times because of raindrops that get on there and you don't want your footage ruined by a big blob of water on your lens. So just make sure that you have a lens cleaning cloth or a microfiber cloth or something out there with you. So, all right. Anyways, it's the White House. Let's go take a look around again, uh, just around the area and see what we see. Now, if you walk down from the White House a little bit, there is a little hidden gem that's not so little and not so hidden, and that is the Treasury Building. Most people come over here on Pennsylvania Avenue to actually see the White House, but what they don't realize is that the U.S. Treasury is right next door. So kind of tells you how important the building is that the building that controls all the money and finance and stuff is right next to the White House. So anyways, there you go. That's it. If you get on over here, come check it out. All right, everyone. Well, there you go. That is my trip to the old post office museum and clock tower and a little uh, walk around the White House here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. I really wanted to just come out and test this Insta360 One Ace Pro and see how it does for vlogging. 
And I have to say, I really, really like vlogging with this camera. The flip up screen just makes it really nice to use. I love the fact that it has this pure video mode, so I don't really have to worry about being in low light. I can shoot in whatever situation is presented to me. The only real problem is that I keep bringing up whenever I talk about this camera is the fact that it's not easy to get external audio in. And so I'm having to record my audio separately and then sync it up in post. So there's that. Anyways, I'll check you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out the, uh, the old post office museum and clock tower or the White House, I'll leave links down below in the video description so you can check it out. I'll also leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere and see other uh, products and services that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I'm Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.